How you guys doing? This is lesson two with the uh, how to design an all over printed t-shirt uh, hip hop edition. So this is going to be a little Dirk um, shirt that I'm going to teach you guys how to design real fast. I already have my pictures in the folder and it's good to have these already before you start. So let's start it off right now. A little Dirk photo right here. I'm gonna go grab his picture, drag and drop, stretch it out. Hit the check at the top to let it know you're done with that. Um, you're done with that uh, selection. Then I'm gonna move this to the back. These are layer. These are your layers over here. So this is the t-shirt top layer. This is the dirt layer, and this is the thumbnail layer. So I'll bring that thumbnail right over the t-shirt. Right, put it right back where it was at. So now we have to get the t-shirt looking like this. So now it's about cutting a little dirt out of this background and then changing the background red, adding OTF, and then we're done. So let's go here. So let's we'll do this way, starting off with eraser tool. Click on that. It's gonna say, this smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. Any contents will no longer be available, rasterize the smart object. So, okay. So now you'll be able to use your eraser. So my eraser is on 200 pixels at hardness is at 6%. And you can right click and it'll show you that. So now I'm just about to go in and clean them all the way up and get everything out. So you hold Command Plus if you want a Mac. I hold the Shift bar, I mean the Space bar, and that shows you the hand. When you get the Space bar in hand, you can just use your mouse and navigate to scroll and cut the pictures out and you can get in real detail and close so now I'm just this is how I cut pictures out real fast you just follow the body real close it don't matter if you go inside the body a little bit because once you zoom out it's gonna be crispy Follow the body. So now you gotta follow the body. My bad. Don't worry about going inside the hand. Now do your preview. When you zoom out, it's crispy. Just a little trick. Oh, the shit space bar. Zoom in, go back to your spot you was at, and keep following them lines. And I usually use the eraser brush to cut out pictures sometimes because it just gives that soft, it's no hard lines. This is my trick. I'll show y'all how to cut somebody out real fast. And you can take your time. I've just been doing this for a lot of years. So I'm going to show y'all all the shortcuts and quick ways to do stuff. Go get the third tool, which is the um, the, it's a lasso tool. Uh, 
I say the whole name. So now I go here, click. Every time you click it, it's a point. And then when you double click and connect them, you put delete and it gets rid of whatever was inside of that lasso. So now I just click, 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 click. And you gotta get used to this tool because it's kind of weird. So y'all see that the eraser was just getting ready for this. I was breaking the background up from the actual image that we want. So that creates like a pathway, a driveway for you to just go in, out, double click. And like I said, again, every time you click this, like you go straight up, push it. Now that creates like a, um, now you go, you can go a different angle, click, different angle, click, different angle, click, 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 click. Then you double click. It gives you all the points and make your selection. So that's what I'm doing now. So you got to get used to that tool. And once you get real fast with it, it's going to be. A great, great asset. Okay, now I'll go back to this eraser, eraser tool, and then we we didn't get it, we didn't get us out of here. So now we can erase in here. this really the only part of this design that's kind of hard is cutting the cutting the images out so now you see what it was really no hair at you can go in there and give it a little erasing okay go back to the lasso every time I'm clicking it's making it make this shape if you was going straight you don't need to click because it's a straight line but every time you need to turn or hit a corner or angle you need to click it so you could pivot delete okay now this is the shirt right here that we are creating Let's get a red background. Go over here to the left where, where you see the um, box is at. Click on that. Go all the way up. Click all the way in the corner for the darkest red you can get. And go up. And then drag it all the way up. Boom. So you take this and you're going to put this under Little Dirk so that it becomes the background. Right. So now I'm gonna go grab the OTF, which is the next logo. Go on my little dirt folder. Let it go on the Photoshop icon. There it goes. Bring that over to my work area. And it's white on here, so we're gonna go over here to the layer. It's OTF. You double click. We're going to do a color overlay. Color overlay means you're going to change this color to whatever color you select. So we're going to click on that. It changed it blue. You go to this box. Change it white. Okay. Okay. That's done. Now we're going to take this OTF again. Right click on it. Duplicate layer. We're going to hit OK. Now we have two. Now we're going to stretch this one real big. Right? Then we're going to go to that real big one and double click on it. We're going to add a stroke. We want to go over here and we want to stroke black. Right? And the size of the stroke is four. Let's go six. 
they were like, okay, now there's a trick. You see over here, we, we got the OTF selected. That's this layer. You turn it off, it's gone. Turn it on, it's on. You go to fill, and you just drag it over, or you can scroll on it. If you have a, a mouse, just take it all the way down. You want it to zero. Right. So now you're gonna move that to the back behind dirt. Boom. And there we have that. So now we are going to I'm gonna add like a little drop shadow or something to this OTF just so it can pop off. We're gonna double click on that layer, go to drop shadow. And you can play with these distance, spread, and size just to get it where you want it. See, that makes it look good. Move this back out the way. And we pretty much have it. And see, dark and on the sides and so all we gotta do is bring him down and stretch this out from the top. Basically, now you're ready to print and rock and roll. Now you go back in, clean up the little edges. And that's you guys lesson two, how to design an all over t-shirt real fast. There you have it.